We are working with new science here at Smokeless Chimney. Let me explain. Smokeless Chimney projects light through smoke to develop a smoke measurement system. New science requires new terms and definitions. We will describe two terms for you, opacity depression and color shift. Light sources used in this video, 1100 nanometers, 900 nanometers, 500 nanometers, and 250 nanometers. This is Octoring serial number one with new clothing. It has a display. The 510 nanometer light source presented opacity depression for much of the run. At one time I thought this was an error in my system, but you can see that in later graphs that other light sources do not have opacity depression. Upper right we have the 510 nanometer color shift. This would be the amount of color shifted above 510 nanometers. Color shift and opacity presented together have similar peaks from slightly different information. The 1100 nanometer light source presented with color shift and lack of opacity depression. A 250 nanometer light source presents color shift and lack of opacity depression. The 900 nanometer light source is the blurple light with a little bit of blue, a lot of red, and not much green. It is a low intensity light at about 23 lux. It appears to portray a zero float positive of about five opacity. It's a little bit problematic, however, the frequency of light reduces the noise. Wood smoke has particulates and post-combustion gases of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and others. Opacity depression is a problem in accurate opacity measurement. Until we understand why and can confidently correct for opacity depression, we must use light sources that do not present opacity depression. Opacity depression occurs only with certain light sources under a hot chimney gases. Float can occur with or without hot gases. It's important to distinguish between the two. Smokeless Chimney www.smokelesschimney.com Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube